I was driving through the Appalachian Mountains and got to thinking about potential energy and kinetic energy. In this video, we will be solving for potential energy, velocity, and kinetic energy at three points along a car's path. This will be assuming that the car has left to coast down the hill and that there is no air resistance or no friction. The givens are mass of the car of 1400 kilograms, gravity of 9.8 meters per second squared, initial velocity of zero, and the heights at three points. The three equations we'll be using are potential energy plus kinetic energy equals initial potential energy, potential energy equals mass times gravity times height, and kinetic energy equals one-half mass times velocity squared. Now in order to solve this problem, we will need to complete some rearranging of formulas. So as stated before, current potential energy plus kinetic energy equals initial potential energy. Rearranging this, we get kinetic energy equals initial potential energy minus current potential energy. After substituting the potential energy equation of mass times gravity times height and completing some more simplification, we get mass times gravity times initial height minus current height, or the height delta, equals kinetic energy. We used this equation in a previous video for pendulums. Now, in order to solve for the velocity, we will set the two kinetic energy equations equal to one another and isolate the velocity to one side. After doing some simplification, we notice that the masses can be canceled out. We are left with velocity equals the square root of two times gravity times the height delta. Now that we have our equations rearranged, we are ready to start solving for each point along the car's path. For the first point, we are already given the velocity, so we do not need to solve for velocity. For the potential energy, we simply plug in our divins into the potential energy equation of mass times gravity times height to get 1,372,000 joules. For the second height of zero, we can plug our numbers into the potential energy equation again to get a total potential energy of zero joules due to the car being at the lowest point along the path. For solving for velocity, we can take the square root of two times gravity times the height delta. In this case, the height delta is 100 minus zero, so 100. After plugging in our numbers, we find that the velocity equals 44.27 meters per second. If you're like me and thinking imperial, this equals to be about 99 miles per hour. To find the kinetic energy at this point, we take the initial potential energy minus this point's potential energy, and we end up with the same kinetic energy as our initial potential energy. Finally, for the third point, we once again plug our numbers into the potential energy equation of mass times gravity times height, and we get 1,029,000 joules. We can then plug our numbers into the velocity equation of square root 2 times gravity times height delta to get our velocity of 22.14 meters per second. Once again, if you are like me and think in imperial, this is equal to about 49.5 miles per hour. Finally, for doing the kinetic energy at this point, we take the initial potential energy minus the potential energy at this point to get 343,000 joules. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I earned a like or subscription.